code problem for finding number of provinces. So let's first try to understand the problem statement. It says that there are n cities, some of them are connected and some are not. And if two cities are connected, they are said to be directly connected. And let's say uh, that city A is connected to city B and city B is connected to city C. So A and C are not directly connected, but they are indirectly connected. And we also need to understand what a province is. So a province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities. So let's see how this data is given to us. It's in the form of a matrix. So if I just write it here on my notepad, what is essentially is, is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. Now in this matrix, which is an n cross n matrix, if it's connected, then the particular node representing that connection will have a value of 1 and if they are not connected it will represent it by 0. Now let's try to understand what the values in this matrix represents. So uh, I'll take example of this item. So it's at the position of uh, let's say uh, this one is the first row. This is second row. Similarly this is the first column and this is the second column. So this particular element is at intersection of first and second city. So it represents the relation between first city and the second city. So it says first city is connected to second city. And similarly, if you see this one, this is second city and uh, third, third row, right? So it says second city is not connected to third city. So we need to figure out uh, like number of uh, connections that this particular state have. So let's think of, let's try to think of it in terms of a graph. So I'll make a graph out of this matrix. So uh, let's tr try traversing this matrix, right? So I'll start from here. So first city, it says it's connecting to first, it's connected to the first city, which is obvious. Now, is it connected to the second city? Yes, it is connected to the second city. So I say something like this then is first this position represent first and third city so it is zero so that that means first is not connected to third now coming to this one this is second and first so second is connected to first this is obvious because like if one is connected to then two is connected to one this is a non-directed graph now coming to this one second is connected to second this one it is a zero so second is not connected to third right coming back to this next item this is third and fourth so third is not connected to first second and uh, third so second is not connected to third and this is third and third so third is not connected to any of them so this is the, the effective graph we have so you can see there are effectively two provinces here because we have two shapes which are not directly connected so similarly let's take the second example which is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 right now if i try to make a graph out of this this is that 1 is connected to 1 which is obvious this is 2 is not con 2 is not connected to 1 so uh, we have 2 which is not connected to 1 then 3 is not connected to 1. So we have a 3 which is not connected to 1. This one says that 2 is not connected to 1. Again 2 is connected to 2. 2 is not connected to 3. So we don't have that connection yet. 3 is not connected to 1. 3 is not connected to and 3 is connected to itself. So this particular representation have this graph where all of the nodes are not connected. So uh, all of these 3 will act as independent provinces. Now from these two examples, what we understand is that number of provinces will be equal to number of non-connected items in this particular graph. Okay, so how can we find this? Right, so uh, we know that when, when a graph is connected, so let's say we have this connected graph if we run a DFS or BFS on this graph, it will traverse, it will visit all the nodes of this graph. But in our case, when we have something like this, right, we have a graph like this. 
So if we run a DFS on any of any node of this particular graph, subgraph, it will visit all of them. So it will, let's say it will start from here. It will visit this one, then uh, based on like if it's a BFS or a DFS, it will visit this, this, this and this. But it won't, but it won't visit these four. So, uh, so we can then uh, write a method which loops over this and let's say it got, it gets to this index and it visits this one, this one, then similarly this one and this one. So our number of provinces will be the number of times we'll have to call this DFS method or this BFS method, right? So let's say we start with this index, we run DFS once. So it completely covers all of these. Then we say, okay, these are all, uh, these are all visited. We don't have to touch them. We come to this node and we say this is not visited. So we run DFS once on this. So it covers all of them. Then we come on this node and we say uh, this is not visited. So we run DFS on that. What it will do, it will cover all of the items that are connected here. And we will get to know that we, we had to do that connection three times. So we have three provinces. So let's try to write a solution for this. So I'll be using Java here. So we are given this matrix, it's connected. Now, first, I, what I'll do, I'll just uh, write down some helpers. So, I know what will be the number of nodes. Is, is connected. That link. Then, I'll just create an array for mapping on visiting nodes. So, I'll say, this, there's a boolean array, which is like visited nodes, and it's a boolean. Array. And uh, what will be the length of this? It will be number of nodes. Okay. And uh, let's create a for loop which is essentially going to loop over every element so i0 i less than number of nodes and i plus plus so it will start from zero it will say it will check if the node is visited or not so if visited nodes i if it's not visited, what it will do, it will call DFS on this visit, if on this node, right? So we'll write that DFS method, but let's just write the interface for that. So we have a DFS method, which doesn't return anything. And it will need this is connected array. It will need to know about our uh, visited nodes array so that it can decide whether to call DFS again or not on particular node. It will also uh, need number of nodes, right? And let's say it does something. So here I'm gonna make one more counter. So this is for, uh, for counting, creating a counter of our number of provinces so that we know how many uh, calls we have made to the DFS. So there is an counter which is initialized to zero and at the end of it when everything is done we will return this counter. Right so I need to call uh, DFS and to this DFS I'll also need to provide uh, what is my uh, starting node right. So in our case it's I right and here similarly in my dfs i have an int i iterate over the entire length of this node so i'll just copy this thing from here and it will check if this i is the same element we got from uh, as our first visiting index right so let's say this is zero and it will say if it's not zero, if it's not that item and uh, it's connected, right? So is connected I and U. Uh, this is equal to one. So even only when they are, when these two nodes are connected and these are not same, 
we will uh, call the DFS again because we know that it's an adjacent item right and uh, we'll also have to add addi an additional check that we have not already visited this node so visited nodes and this is I so I'm saying like this is not visited then only we call DFS again on this thing. right so we also need to do one other thing that we have to mark a not visited when DFS hits it so we'll just say that uh, visited nodes and this u is equal to true right um, so let me just explain what this is doing this is standard DFS algorithm we have these five cities one two three four five and we are given the initial node as two let's say right so I need to see uh, which to which other cities these this two is connected and I need to go to that node and call DFS again so that I visit it I visit the further nodes so the way it's doing it's uh, starting from zero it's checking uh, that uh, if this is not equal to your uh, initial node right and if it is not and it's checking if it's connected to that node so let's say one one is connected to two and it's not equal to two then it says uh, if we have already uh, visited this or not and let's say one was not visited so it will call dfs on this one and now this whole thing will run again for one right then when i equal to zero one is one so it won't run then two is already visited then let's say it hits i equal to three right so in that case it will say okay this is not visited and one is not equal to three so it will uh, call the dfs on this and what this will do it will set that three is already visited here so this is how this whole thing runs and now let's try to run this code and see if we are getting any errors okay so our output is zero it was expected to be this okay because we haven't incremented this counter so whenever here i need i am calling a dfs uh, this will only be when there was no direct connection between uh, this particular node and the and the iteration from here so here i need to iterate this and submit all right so this runs so yeah uh, thanks for watching this video let me know in the comment box if there is any question you have